trying to try to remember the thing because the left guitar starts first. The do you remember it? Like the it goes and then and then you have the <laughs> yeah and then the slide but uh, and then you have the yeah 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 I remember that but that was a uh, that was cool like getting to to hear it like the call and response and i left it blank like intentional you remember that, like because you wrote that bit yeah the the, the, the main that was the uh the i one just part i actually wrote uh, yeah i just i just left them like in i guess you have the and it was em empty for like two bars or something right yeah it was and <laughs> it was patchy but deliberately yeah yeah you're like, oh, right. there's like space you like you came to me you're like all right Need a call and response. I need your part. And I, I just sat down that afternoon, and I, uh, I was like, right. And then I had like a burst of inspiration, and I was like, oh, that's that's it. And then I, I just kept on adding to it. So like, I think yeah. But I, I how think, how did you make it? Like it's just like like you know you hear um, the, and then you try it like a random riff or something. Well, or first of all, I guess I found the key. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I found yeah, the key, and then I worked from it from there. I worked on it from there. I, only, I think in total the whole thing only took me like 15 minutes to write. I was just like back and forth, and I think the only extra thing I added afterwards was like the. Just because I yeah, left yeah. it blank, and you're like, oh, maybe add one more thing, and I was like. Ah, I kind of like the I kind of like the other guitar there, so I just left it. Well, I left it intentionally, like simple in mine, and so yeah. You know the the vocal melody falls at the yeah. It, it follows then, the the whole th the whole um, column spot. Uh, which yeah, that that was that was tricky to make. Like, yeah, what the vocal? Yeah, yeah writing uh, over. Yeah, because it's a it's you're trying to do like the colors will. You know, like <laughs> you're trying to get yeah, it on the notes or in between all the syllables. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was a that was a tricky thing, and then e even like the running the. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Is there anyone out there to hear our cry? So that's it's like hard to like <laughs> slap that, it on that riff as well. I was like, oh, that reminds me of the Incredibles music. But I've never seen it. <laughs> oh, you've not just seen the Incredibles. Yeah, just the clips. Anyone who watches The Incredibles will know what I mean with the, if they listen back to that. Was it a theme song or something? Uh, no, it's just a um, little part of the... Uh, Is that their jingle for like the superhero entrance or something? It's... I, 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 watch I think it. so. I think it's just part of the score, like... The doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm gonna check that. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was yeah. That could be like one of those uh, unintentional plagiarism, the whole oh, Ed Sheeran my. thing. Yeah, I know, it's oh, man. like, yeah, imagine owning yeah, I chords. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know the same thing. I'm glad you won it, though. Yeah, that, that's a, a whole thing. It's a I whole know. can of worms. Last, like, eight years, apparently. Yeah, um, I mean, he props to him playing, like, a hundred songs, almost. In with court. His, in the same yeah, four yeah, chords. Yeah, yeah, It's like, the axis of awesome, but that multiply, that was good. And the fact that he like knew the lyrics as well, it just proves that he knows all these songs. You know? No Good woman for him. will cry. <laughs> just like all, all, all that's left, left for us is to uh, plagiarize an Ed Sheeran song. Next. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Nah, I think the the would just like take the piss. He would just yeah. respond like yo. Yeah. Yeah. Up. yeah. Well, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let him cook. Right. Oh, we, we used one chord that's the same as Marvin Gaye. Oh, we better oh, not. No. You know, we better no. not. <laughs> Um, recording, yeah. Like any fond memories of the <laughs> tracking, and yeah, like or anything like that was annoying or hard. Well, considering it was my first time recording anything, you know, <laughs> ever. Um, I was like, oh, you know, I'll just get it done in like two takes, you know, one two takes. I'm like, yeah, maximum. We were preparing, you know. Ma we, were, yeah. we were like holding lamp, lamp, <laughs> pick, lamp pick. But exactly. Then, yeah. And I was like, I was like, you know. How hard can it be? You put in your practice, you know, you sit down and then you have like all the weight yeah. in the world <laughs> Like at your fingertips and you're like Let me just play uh... oh. <laughs> <laughs> you Yeah, know? and then it me, was, me, was... Meanwhile the timer's like way ahead. Yeah, yeah and you're like, ah, oh, spacebar 
reset it. I, I noticed that especially with Axis Loop because I was there all afternoon uh, trying to get that riff, and it's because I um, was hitting, I was letting strings ring out when I shouldn't have been. Mm. So like, you know, if I just practiced it better, it wouldn't have been. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think I have it now though. Well, you'd think it would, right? So like. Yeah, yeah. I'd say it's it's, uh, it's it's very it's staccato as well in nature. So exactly, you gotta, you gotta keep that. I think it I was like minimum. Let's hear the ringing. Yeah, that's, that's what I was doing yeah. the recording. Like it yeah. was that that string was ringing out. Like and that's why I was ah. Like, oh. There was takes I thought were good, and you listen back, you're like, nah. There's like ringing. I was like, oh. yeah, yeah. I thought it was a good take. I think that's why I was getting also frustrated, but. Um, you live and you learn, right? Yeah, so, of course, of course. Yeah, um, that, that comes with it. But now you know, like it's it's not just like, oh, I'm gonna record it and then that's it. That's the yeah, that's the yeah, longer. that's the time-consuming part for us is just tracking it and yeah. actually like getting it as close and to like double perfect. tracking it too. Oh yeah, yeah. That's... Having to get it perfect twice, you know. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, it gives it that like thicker sound, you know, like yeah. It you, makes it you, just... need, you need it. <laughs> to like really like cut through. But can't do like it's a lot harder with acoustic because you know you can't make. There's so much more like extra sound with an acoustic. Yeah, so, like, especially like, the, and, like yeah, sliding and like your fingers. You can hear them, but I think that gives like the human element. You know, having in one take. Mm, yeah, it, it makes it sound more like uh, I don't know, like hearty. Is hearty the right word to use for that? Like I don't know, like senescent. You know, is is our acoustic song on the record and it's uh yeah not double tracked uh, you can hear the little nuances of the strings that ring out it just makes it sound more um yeah i guess hearty i guess hearty is the word i'm looking for yeah i actually i thought that was quite annoying to track as well the the It, yeah, because it's it, it's it's four guitars. So we, <laughs> during the those bit the section, I guess B or something C, wherever you have your you have two guitars playing your chords, and then another two on top. So you have four acoustic guitars playing at the same time, and they're playing in octaves apart. Yeah, yeah. But it's like the the I guess the the Arabic scale kind of sound. Yeah, on top, but it's quite tricky. Uh, because we don't have, yourself with yeah, we don't have choral one. hands, unfortunately. You know, not Mortal Kombat. When you're right, when you're writing music, you don't always think about the. You don't always think about playability. No, like, it's, it's more. You have to like make the arrangement it and first make, and then, yeah, yeah, little changes if it's too. If you're like doing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, just have to make a song like, like this. Yeah, yeah, you can't really do that. No, uh, unless you're, I don't know who's. Somebody's got like 12 fingers could probably do that, but. Could be, yeah. yeah. I mean, I technically have got 12 fingers. No, that's 10. Getting <laughs> <laughs> uh, that energy. Oh, man. Any, um, any fond memories from like the actual asphyxia time era? Because remember, it, was, it didn't just start with uh, the previous place, I guess, because it was, we had another space before that. Yeah. And that, so, like the initial, writing I guess started there but in some way you could say the previous HQ was built for the new album like as a soul I guess because that yeah. enabled the facilities the recording booth the practice space you have your tracking area like recording rooms you know yeah the uh, the vocal booth was you know a storage room that we just literally, <laughs> just, we like literally just transformed into a, a vocal booth and uh, you know it was like you know bare brick wall and we found that message like there's like some poem that was written on the wall yeah um, the, the MDF board it was so weird because it, it it's like a doctor's note can't really read it but it was it was yeah. vague enough to like it was in pencil and because it's also brick like the, the letters were written really like squiggly yeah so you could hardly tell it like i didn't i couldn't read it i could read some lines but i was like what's this person is it like a call for help or like 
Like some person's been stuck mm. in this cupboard, locked in. It's a Han Solo, you know, the yeah. <laughs> cement or whatever it was. I mean, he could have been behind that. I don't know, maybe. You never yeah. know. Yeah. I did knock the walls to check, like, hello, anyone here? Just to make sure. <laughs> All you hear is just like, let him cook. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cooking. <laughs> that, but that was, um, because it was like a cupboard and the computer was on the other side of the the, the studio mm -hmm. um, you had like a monitor that you were like because I had never done any vocal um, like uh, audio engineering yeah in audio engin engineering before so uh, you if, were, you were, <laughs> yeah, it felt like a like a you know I'm, I'm in a Gundam it's like a ro mecha robot <laughs> and in the booth and the screen is there but the screen was mainly there to like put um, instead of like Dealing with like lyric sheets and paper, just more clutter, just have it on the screen. So you could just read it if needed. But um, the screen was mirrored, so what he, whatever he sees, I see. So uh, when it came to the audio engineering for the vocal, it was just me, like, felt like a Gundam, you know. Like, press this, do that, yeah, go yeah, here. Yeah, it was yeah. like, you know, command uh, and conquer, you know, the exactly. general. Yeah, like giving me coordinates. <laughs> uh, but to be fair, well, it, was, cool. it was efficient and uh, it made me learn. Quick yeah, yeah. and how to do things, and eventually, like when you repeated things a few times, I managed to just go, All right, I know what I need to do. Yeah, and, like, you know, it's, it's well, in the new place here, it's similar. Like, mm. um, when you said that, like, I'm sure, like, you're, oh, yeah, I remember this, I remember doing that. Yeah, it, it, so it, it came back to me, yeah, it, it, it becomes easier with repetition, I would say. Uh, but yeah, it, it was, it was a good experience, even though the building got demolished. But yeah, I mean, that's that's why that last week we were, uh, Trying to cram it in, yeah. yeah. So many like Ex extra tracks I'm, I'm, and like new upcoming, well, upcoming projects. But your your vocal cords must have been shredded. Yeah, it wasn't <laughs> fun. But it was like a lot of late like, nights, like you yeah. know, because it was twenty four hours, so we were staying there like really early mornings. Um, but you know what, McDonald's. There's a McDonald's exactly. right there, so we would have our nightly ritual. <laughs> That's exactly, it, so it was well deserved. So we were looking for that sponsorship. You know? Just uh, chicken nuggets and. But uh, they did me dirty. Uh, they, uh, I, I did an order once and they didn't give me the chicken nuggets. I was so upset. Sad, I was so annoyed, and so it was on the WhatsApp group messages too. Like, I'm never going back again. I'm gonna boycott it. So went back when, the next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I lasted a week. I said yeah. like, you know, I'm not gonna buy it. And people are like ordering stuff in the drive-through. I'm like, no, I don't want anything. Don't want anything. And then like next week, I okay, okay. Priority. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Okay, I want, a, I want a burger. Yeah. <laughs> maybe not the nuggets. But yeah, yeah maybe I'll, I'll go for a burger. But I was. Cool. But no, they, they that, that fueled us after like rehearsals and stuff. Like, <laughs> man. What a place! I know. Well, the, yeah, we did, yeah, the, we did the, the video and all there too. Yeah, so man. that was a, that was cool, and that was yeah. the first time you were in the video too. So yeah, that was that was, that was, nice. was my first. Uh, I remember like the the recording day with uh, Pacifica for the um, the story aspect of us of Axis Loop and the amount of takes because uh, in the office every time I like swirled around I just laughed. Like it must have been about ten takes. I have, Before I, think, I even got one that was like, I think you know. I, I think I have them on like um, the actual uh, computer, but uh, all three sets are in the same building, so we kind of locked out there to like simulate uh, a kitchen, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so we got lucky there, but and then there was an empty office room that we just had to like put our own stuff into. But yeah, it essentially looked legit, make it you know, yeah so. sort of like an office. So we're, we're we were working, I guess, with what we got, but that was cool. But Again, that was like really <laughs> like by that point we we got told that we have to be out by this point. So like that was a rush. I'm yeah, stressed. it had to be like done on the day. So there was and a, that was day one. Like then we had like the next week, which was the uh, you know the roof scene. Yeah, so yeah, again, it, it was all it, it was, was all, all like planned and like type that was like a in. long day. That was like ten hours, twelve hours of like <laughs> filming and getting ready. Like I think, but that includes it. like making the set and all, you know, like yeah, yeah, stuff yeah, and then, yeah, makeup, uh, yeah, costumes, outfits, and exactly, like, hauling the equipment upstairs and then oh, downstairs. But oh, it was, worth it was cool, yeah, no. good experience. I had to also make the um the projection on the monitor that like be quickly made too so yeah the background I guess for the access loop video you'll see it in the videos but I had to also be made and uh, fun fact that the intro for the song for the MV is the same for the what you see in the projector 
So the the intro is like you know those flat, I guess flashing images at the start. Mm. Yeah, it's the same on the projector. It's, just, it's like part of the uh, I didn't SE. Notice. I didn't notice that. So that's cool. Uh, it's just like a little Easter egg, but. It's one of those videos, the more you watch, the more you see little details, and that's, it, it encourages you to watch. It, yes, it's like... Um, <laughs> it's a very show, don't tell. Yes, the more you watch, the more you like, if you if you look at the background and stuff like that, you'll notice little things. We try to find a way to make the whole video a loop. Yeah, very Didn't, hard to, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, the, like, in the planning, we had so many like drafts and So like if it, if it was like from the start to the end, if you just started it from the start again, it'd just be like the end, but it would start again. Yeah. Uh, but it was, yeah, very hard to do that uh, with the storyline. Yeah, uh, yeah. So. And the, the storyline was like a lot, <laughs> a lot of provisions too. So it wasn't yeah. like initially like that, but I mean, I'm and happy with it. And then we had to change it because we were getting rushed out. So we had to. Yeah. Uh, so that, that, I think the time, it's, the time pressure, like put. We still like did well, considering the time frame that we had to do it. We, we got all the shots. We did, we did well on that video. Well, for, how does it feel the, to be the main character? You know, Hollywood's been non-stop on the phone, <laughs> you know, yeah, my, yeah. my acting your, skills, you know. Your agent's getting... all over, you know, like, yeah, yeah, he'll be available for John Wick 5, don't worry, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna put him there. Yeah. I, I was going down the, the route of, like, sad boy, you know, like, sad you boy, know, because yeah. I might like, <laughs> video, which is actually quite hard to do, straight face. Yeah. But, you know, I'm just an Oscar-winning uh, actor, obviously. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm still in the band, because uh, Hollywood is just... Nobody's good enough for me. Well, I see. Well, there you go. <laughs> you heard from the man himself. So, uh... oh, uh, also, uh, I remember um, the funny bit for the table scene when you two are talking. But uh, it was so. Anyone that if if you can lip read, you'll see that they're talking about complete random. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, just, it's yeah. just completely random no what they're saying. To it. it was every we did a few takes of that, and every take was yeah, it's very it's, something different. Yeah, it's vulgar stuff or like some random whatever. Like it, it, the context made zero sense. I think I was just trying to make Pacifica laugh. Yeah, or like or vice versa, just because it's like you know. It makes it harder. <laughs> and then that that zoom in of me, you with the camera getting closer and closer, because you're just doing it to try and make me laugh. Yeah, yeah. But I like held I held the the the, the what do you call straight it? Face. Yeah, the yeah, straight yeah, face. Yeah, the poker face. And you just got closer and closer. So I, and I didn't know that was gonna stay in. I just thought it was like for a joke, but there you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it's like a um, it depicts like the the trigger, you know, because I mean it zooms in on the face, but it's like a like a mind trigger thing like that. Mm, you know, it's like the flip the switch. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's that like, was the idea in the editing, I guess, to go for that. Um, like I'm not listening to anything around me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just, yeah. He's like phasing out, you know, like as if. Uh, like a grenade shell went off or something, uh, but yeah, it, it was cool. I think um, I think it was everybody's first time there for filming, like being on the camera at least, mm. except for myself. But yeah, yeah. But for the rest, it was it was it was a uh, it was good experience. And uh, here's to more, you know, like we got more stuff. Uh, Cooking up. <laughs> <laughs> well, more lamb cook. I remember the, the initial, I guess, phase when Carnal was being arranged and composed. But this was like, so before the previous HQ at the first one, the Avengers Tower. Oh, yes. Yeah, H1, yeah. Uh, I made that, I made like the riffs, but I was doing, I was working away as well. So, um, doing like custom facing stuff on the computer. But again, it was because it was remote work. I could do that plus do the yeah the writing. But you have like a few minutes between each. Yeah, you know, so that like gave me an idea. But you can do things. Kind of was quite annoying to track. It's, there's so many inversions and like chords, like sequences, like back to back. And the the intro is basically, uh, I guess, a, like uh, a whole what's the word? Like a whole um, mash of like. Riffs, just riffs, just a long groove, all the way into the the verse. Uh, I'm trying to remember it. Oh, it's been so long since I've played it, but you know, can you remember it? Yeah, that's it. It's just this. The 
next part is like the but even then that so you can see like the, the you know going from those inversions and all the little like micro car changes and like the there's the that there's also the, the flex note <laughs> that's the, the flex there the flex. and then it goes back to the you know So yeah, like going from that and then into the first out. Um, oh, the the drums at the verse were like a straight beat initially too, mm -hmm. but we changed it to the, have the trap. So sort because of, oh, yeah, if yeah. you listen to it, it's the the hi hats like tss, 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 oh, goes yeah. like that, right? Yeah, yeah. So that gives like the the trap elements or EDM elements, but it's recurring in other tracks. Like Axel Loop obviously has a synth. Yes. That had, yeah, yeah, yeah. that had two bass lines originally, but we had to change it because it didn't work. Oh, so yeah, the the the, yeah. the actual that doo -doo 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 -doo, that was the bass line originally. Oh right. But then um, we put it into a synth, and we're like, okay, well, it's not gonna work because it's just gonna clash with notes. Yeah. It's gonna be too thick. You know? Yeah. So we changed the bass to be more like a like a groove because there's the pause like. Doo -doo. Da, 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 da. So it kind of gives that like sway motion. It's already quite fast as well. Yeah, and then in, in five four, like it gives that like um, it goes well with the drum because it's on the same hits, so mm -hmm. the kick mm -hmm. or the snare. So that gives a, ED, I guess EDM vibe. It is like very uh, like the the way it goes. Like a like, helix, yeah. yeah the it's DNA. like the guitars um, are like an inversion of each other. Yeah, but it like looks they so meet, weird they meet on at a paper point. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On but the, on that, the that one note that it meets, and it's like yeah. DNA, like <laughs> spiraling yeah, in, yeah, yeah. into each other. It's like the inter intertwining. Yeah. But uh, yeah, more more electronic like elements introduced, especially in like Virgo. That's obviously the outro track, but that's like pure like you know, it's basically trap, EDM, like uh, electronic element. Bit of like hip hop it's stuff. Very different. Since yeah, sequencers in there. It's got um, it's got serum vibes. Yeah, and and the drop. Again, that was like this. That was a start, and um, I don't know. I do like it, so you know why not? I'll try and like yeah, yeah. blend it in. But yeah, it, it was a weird um, track. I guess initially it started out a lot darker, especially in composition. The adding like the strings and stuff had like a cinematic feel you know film yes. feel to it yeah but um the we're trying to get away from the that darkness into more towards the light hence the Ex whole slogan yeah. and stuff yeah, exactly uh, but it's a shift Themes. yeah it's a shift yeah from like yeah. salentium is like the depths and then it goes like slowly like upward i guess in the trajectory I guess the name implies like the suffocation but oh well, it, oh, well during think, the yeah, time it was written name, yeah, yeah. It, it it kind of felt that way sometimes, so it's more of a it has weight to it in that sense, where you can kind of reflect on well, okay, yeah, the the, the world was going to essentially, basically. Uh, but we didn't want to like huh, be like oh, another uh, another another we're, we're locked down. another yeah. lockdown yeah, it's lockdown just like album. it's just yeah. like lame. So, so I think I think that we with the way that we did it was. It's subtle, it's, but it, yeah, it's, it's ambiguous. Solid, it's, it, it's enough for you not to correlate it directly with like yes. lockdown and stuff yeah, yeah. but who knows maybe some of the lyrics are like... very you know in they imply but it's it's not it's not in your face like because yeah i know like my eyes are rolling out whenever like i hear somebody else with a <laughs> coming out with like a lockdown song i'm like ah oh, man like yeah but everybody's doing it you know you, you got nothing else to do if you think about it that way true. so i guess that's like a byproduct of it yeah true well what have you yeah. learned from it uh, what have I learned? Yeah, from like asphyxia, as in like from creation to oh, well, or conception learned, to creation. Well, I learned about like recording, which is difficult. Well, you know, when when you're first doing it, like it's a it's a challenge. It's, it doesn't seem too daunting, but then when you sit down and try and do it, it's very like you're out your depths. And <laughs> when you're on the twentieth take. <laughs> I mean, it happens, like, you know. It, yeah, no. I think every musician can relate. Sometimes it just, yeah, yeah. sometimes it just goes. Sometimes it doesn't, and it's just, it's the way it goes, you know. 
we're not the only ones. No, of course. Yeah, there's learned no... a lot of good skills though. Like learned some uh, some skill audio engineering skills. Um, learned some skills about you know being on a set for the music video. Oh yeah. Learned about I got better at my instrument. Learned about recording. Um, was able to write my first piece for the band, like the the call and response in Tenebris. Happy with it as well. Not like. And it was like the first thing that came out, because like I guess sometimes you can like I know I've been in the position before where you write stuff, and you're like, oh, I scrap that, like it's terrible, you know, it doesn't have anything to it, it's it sounds too generic, you know, not everything's the same, so I can't yeah, write music. But very the same. in the moment. Yeah, okay. literally. Uh, what about you? What was uh, what? What did you learn from? Uh, I learned how to build a yeah. yeah. I learned how to build a stage Lego. I've never oh, yeah, had that yet. Yeah, yeah, that was that, <laughs> that was a few that days. was so weird. Uh, I guess like got better at like wiring stuff and like doing uh, just manual labor and like making the rooms. I think I like DIY anyway, so mm -hmm. making the rooms was fun. Planning it, uh, I, I didn't really think it looked quite bougie. I'm not gonna lie, like the the actual recording room, you know, with the plants oh, and like yeah, the, the no, walls was... and stuff. So it looked it looked pretty like you know. But then you you, but, you you come up with if you've got a good looking environment, it's gonna yeah boost it kinda, your yeah exactly because like, you, you gotta have a room for anyone that does this like any creative field you need to be in a room that you're like you can chill in and yeah feel like okay this I can actually do something here because yeah. if if the environment's not good for you then it's not gonna work you're, so you're not gonna come up with your best work yeah and for you're sure. not gonna perform your best yeah. For sure. Having the having the lounge couch and stuff like it, the atmosphere makes it like nice and it felt like almost like you know luxurious kind of like being sometimes in a it was a little nice bit place. like you you're like at the computer and you see that at the corner of your eye and in your peripherals you have that sofa you're like oh, I bet that's gonna be so comfy and you're like sitting like at the computer and you're like it's like calling you it's like come on but take a nap take a nap <laughs> take a nap yeah. um what what have I learned. I don't know. I think uh, obviously it got better at like the the audio engineering in general, but mm. just all the wires. It, yeah, Man, it was like, it was more so many wires behind that stage. <sighs> that was that was like <laughs> taking oh. one out. Remember, because <laughs> we had them running under the stage, so like it was yeah, actually yeah. a nightmare to get in through because there was no easy access. No, we built like a very ghetto, yeah, like yeah, a yeah. jig, like a stick on a stick, like taped together. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we had to feed someone from the front, and they I would they would they would coil the the <laughs> the wire on the stick. We just taped the stick, oh, and I have to feed it, and try, somebody else like trying to grab it, it was, underneath. What it was so you? hard. We should have painted that. Um, we were millionaires. It, it was very. Uh, it was genius. It was but, genius. But that was cool. I guess um, it's a mix for me. Some things I've not delved in, like figuring out how does like DMX lights work. I, I have no idea what to get, how the program works, how to learn it, and like syncing it up. And that was like a nightmare. I never used Reaper in that way, where it's like playback based, you know? Yeah. Because I always just use it for recording based. Yeah. But that was strange to sell. Building that rig as well, the in, the in your monitors, like that, that was like pfft, above my oh, head. Oh, yeah, yeah. Still don't, don't know what I'm me. doing, to be yeah. fair, but you know, just basically just YouTubing it and like asking people questions. Some guys just on like Facebook forum posts, they're, they're nice enough to help you. So mm. I've had people from US like basically doing Zoom calls and be like, okay, show me what's wrong, and then I, I explain it, and they know what's up. So shout out to like Dana Tucker, uh, who's the guy who does the Behringer mix unit on Facebook uh, group. He was really nice and helpful. But mm. I mean, without him, like I wouldn't know what I'm doing, like how to configure it. And we need the sounds. You and, did like, learn you know, fast. Like, yeah, like... everything had to be quick as well. That adds to the pressure. Uh, but being able to pass the skills on as well is like a nice thing. So there's there's a lot I've learned as well. But um, a lot of stuff I can also like refine more I guess and like of pass course. on. Yeah. Um, if you're not learning, you're not growing. Yeah, definitely more I guess in re in regards to recording different techniques and like um, more of the composition side and the the vocal melody lines cuz I always leave it last usually, but mm. it depends it depends on the tracks. But you know, going forward with that uh, taking that everything and then just basically applying that knowledge to this space here exactly so and uh, I 
and that's uh, on to the next thing. Yeah, yeah, so. looking forward to that. So you know, we we got summer ahead, and uh, that's a uh, that'll be a good time to like. To yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, just, yeah. Uh, people are going all day and stuff, so yeah. I do keep that in mind. That's like well, two breaks. Music career, what's that? Yeah, summer break and then you know Christmas period. That's like the two times where you, just you have to yeah. take some time. Take, take some, some take some time off for you. So you do need a mental to... week off. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I should preach the stuff I say, but <laughs> <laughs> yes, but yes, yeah. All right, so yeah, I mean, in retrospect, it was a it was a good year. Um, just looking back at uh, how Asphyxia was made, and like it was a bit of a mental journey, but you know, just getting it out there. I'm happy it's actually released. It's like two two and a half years in, in development. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's not like um, I mean, we you can't rush art, but of course, um, just keeping things in mind and working with deadlines. But yeah, that was a that was a good year. No, for sure, that was a production. Yeah, <laughs> very, was, very. It was a good year for learning and like growing and like yeah. Just, Develop, just yeah, seeing the ins and outs on like how an album was actually produced and like yeah. I remember going over to your flat and watching you uh, mix. Yeah, yeah. And like just how much time it takes. Yeah. Like, this is the ugly side of music production. Unfortunately, I don't tell you that. You know, it, it, it takes unfortunately, a lot of time. Yeah, it's not just like we're gonna play. This is all the annoying parts and like listening on so many different devices to make sure oh, yeah. it all sounds balanced <laughs> yeah. but yeah that was good anyway so for those that know uh we are actually on the winamp creator program and we need your help so you can help us by subscribing to our channels and we have two tiers at the moment just a one dollar club which is our you know one pound tier and our echoes tier which is the big box but that's less than a fiver a month. I mean, you guys buy like <laughs> cinnamon dolce latte every month, you know, <laughs> at Starbucks. You, I think or, or uh, if you beer, can drink that, yeah, or, or, on, or a beer on, in London. What your preferences are beer and lunch. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's a, a fiver is quite good. cheap. Oh well, there a you go. Is quite cheap. It's cheaper than a beer in London. So, so if you can afford, if you can afford that, come help us out. We need that shilling money. I mean, look at our chairs. It's literally falling <laughs> apart. We got rust the, on our the chairs. Ugly, the ugly we, <laughs> we need new chairs. We need, we need gear. We need equipment. But more importantly, it's about building a community too. The one pound yeah. here gets you into our, as I said, dollar club. But you also get to join our Discord like exclusive groups as well there so come and head over the discord is free for entry for anyone so please if you want to hang out come talk we're online 24 7 like half the members don't have a life in terms of like being a uh, neat so they're always online speak for yourself yeah <laughs> <laughs> so i'm always on my computer like doing stuff so come and hang out have some fun with us exclusive posters behind the scenes there's tons of content that's not on youtube or anywhere else you get to chill with us. Plus, uh, soon enough, you'll be able to track with the platform as well live. Um, it's a new, uh, it's a new platform too. So, give it some time. Let it develop. Land cook, you know. So yeah, that's a, that's a, it's a yeah. good place to be. As yeah. said, when I'm fan zone, you can just go on, go on the front page. We're right there on the front page. Mm. Help out your creators. Help out our content. We need yeah. money. Please, we need chairs. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> we need money. We need funding. But yeah, bang it. <laughs> Hopefully, see uh, more of the echoes there. And uh, yeah, peace out, I guess. See you next time.